Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Ben's joining me on this one. He couldn't make it last week. Just uh, scheduling and yeah, life gets busy. So we're going to go ahead and go on to uh, the predict our next level predictions. I predicted um, I got all but one right, and that's because I picked with my heart, not with my head. Went with the Seahawks over the Niners, and uh, yeah, everybody knew everybody but me knew what was going to happen. So that's okay, man. Um, I think that's going to be the same thing uh, that happens to me this week. You know, we're going to pick with our our hearts and not our heads, and you know, it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. We're probably gonna learn a hard lesson this week. Yeah. All righty. Well, we're gonna jump over here to the uh, the good old playoff predictor. Uh, this is the wild card round. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pick the teams that, that went through. And uh, um, oh, I didn't pick the Bengals. Um, I know I wasn't um uh, on the show last week, but I out of everybody who uh who moved on, I think there was only one that I honestly thought um there was one there was one that I didn't I wasn't gonna call. And I was definitely going to say the Bucks were going to beat the the Cowboys last week, but I, I've learned over my lifetime to never bet against Tom Brady, and that was the one time that I probably should have. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, on to this round. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say this: uh, the Bills did not impress me, mm -mm. and I I think the Bengals are going to be able to run and throw all over that defense mm -hmm. and the Bengals defense will get just enough clutch stops. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the the Bengals to go through. And uh, what's your pick on that? Um, Yeah, man, I think the Bengals are going to be good. And uh, also my fiance would probably uh, destroy me if I didn't pick the Bengals because she's a huge Joe Burrow fan. But uh, I think, I think the Bengals just have the better team. Uh, still think their offensive line is shaky, but I mean, you take the good with the bad, man. The defense is going to be better. I have more faith in Joe Burrow than I do Josh Allen. And I think Josh Allen is a more talented quarterback, but I think Joe Burrow is the more um, complete quarterback right now. And I think in the playoffs, that's the biggest thing that matters. All right. Um, now on to the pick that you're going to disagree with me on probably. Uh, I think the Chiefs are going to be able to throw all over Jacksonville. That uh, that that pass defense is – not not great yeah yeah i think uh it's gonna take a lot but i think if trevor I, I think if trevor doesn't turn the ball over four times and the jags don't have you know five total turnovers i think we have a good chance um and with that i think you know our our momentum from last week is gonna carry over um and i mean i I, I just talked about how the quarterbacks are better. You know, the better quarterback is usually who wins. But, dang, man, I I got the Jag jersey on. All I got to say is Duval. <laughs> All right, we're going Jags. Okay. We're going Jags. Um, I should have thought this through better and, and done uh, two, two different playoff predictors here. But, uh, oh, well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Y'all already know who I'm riding with for the Super Bowl. Go Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Oof. Okay. Uh, with that being said, I'm, I'm of course, picking the Eagles to beat the, the Giants. So, I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Um, Cowboys, Niners. Now, this one's hard for me to pick. I, I hate the Niners. I do. Mm -hmm. Like, I just – you it. it kind of bred into you as a Seahawks fan. You just kind of got to hate the Niners. Right. Um, and it doesn't help when I, I – most of the Niners fans I know are, are kind of obnoxious. So, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man, Cowboys, Niners. Do I pick with my heart or with my head? I, I think I got to go with my head on this one. I, I just – that D that Niners defense is nasty. And I try to, right. yeah, the Seahawks hung 
quite a few points on them, but then the Niners made second half adjustments and came back. I think this is one that the that the Niners do win. So that's my pick. Okay. On the Giants and Eagles, I think I'd have to go Eagles as well. Um, the Giants, man, they're, they're the NFC's Jags this year. And in, in my heart of hearts, I, I would love to see the Giants move forward, but I just don't see it happening this year. Um, you know, the Giants and the Jags both have a really strong team, young team, and I think they'll continue to grow uh, next couple of years. But I, I'm with you. I think the Eagles are going to win that game. As far as Cowboys and Niners, the Niners on paper are the better team. On paper. But football ain't played on paper. Football's played on the gridiron. It's played on 100 yards of good homegrown turf or you know the plastic stuff if you (laughs) if you play in a dome and by that i'm saying i think the cowboys are gonna win this football game um i think they're gonna take their momentum into this week and i think this is gonna be the week that brock purdy finally um cost the Niners a game. And I think I think the Cowboys will pull this one out. Um I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. It was very hard for me to pick on that. Um I I never underestimate Kyle Shanahan's ability to choke. <laughs> <laughs> it's so just happened really too many it's... Atlanta fans Come on now. Oh, uh, it's uh, yeah. That's a uh, that's a tough reminder. Yep, Kyle Shanahan knows how to choke a game, and the this Cowboys team, as much hate as the Cowboys get, this is a probably most complete team they've had in. Mm, hard for me to say, but the the most complete team they've had in probably well over ten years, mm-hmm. and. Not that I watched a lot of Cowboys football back in the early 2000s or late 90s. This might be the most complete team they've had since the 90s. Yeah. As long as um, I get that kicker that kicker situation figured out. Yeah, I think I think Brett Maher, I mean, man, it sucks watching somebody have the yips just right in front of your eyes. Uh, and I felt for the guy because he's not a he's not a bad kicker by any means. He's he's one of the best kickers. In the world, he he wouldn't have an NFL job if he wasn't. Right. Um, and I mean, he hadn't missed much, if at all, all year, and just a freak accident that he started missing those. Luckily, it wasn't the the uh, difference in the game, but it sure could have been. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, poor guy. Hope he gets it figured out. Uh, mm-hmm. I I never I never like for uh, kickers to kickers especially to lose their jobs in the NFL because uh, those guys a lot of times don't get as much credit as they deserve for just having to come in there and make the clutch field goals or, or, or uh, PATs to put a game away. Um, right. But in, in the case of TCU over Baylor, literally win the game. And if they don't win that game, they're not going to the natty. And mm-hmm. uh, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of people who say they shouldn't have been there, but you know, you, you just you nobody was beating Georgia this year. Nobody was. No, no, not even Alabama. And I know, I know we got a mutual friend uh, who is a big Alabama fan. But even he, I don't think, would have bet on on Bama if they played. Right. All righty. Next round. Um, okay. Uh, like I said, Eagles going through. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. That team is just um, the best team in the NFC. And mm. on, on paper and on the field, uh, I know they've had struggle. They had the struggles in the the final game of the season, and somebody was like, "Man, you know, they didn't look good in that final game." J- Jalen Hurts was coming back from a shoulder sprain. Like he, it was his first game back. He's had a few weeks to rest. Um, he's throw for pretty much the entire season. He was throwing the ball all over the yard. He was running it. Miles Sanders was running it. They have AJ Brown. They have uh, Devontae Smith. They have a couple uh, tight ends, uh, Dallas Goddard primarily, but they also have a a guy out of Oklahoma 
um, who transferred to SMU that I really liked. Um, they got drafted. Uh, Grant Calcaterra, who's um, who's a monster um, if he's used correctly. So I, mm-hmm. I just think the Eagles are too good to be uh, be beat by the Cowboys. Yeah, I um, I agree with you. I think if you know if the Cowboys, if it is the Cowboys end up in this position, I think the the Eagles do take over. But I think if if the Niners make it, I think the Niners go all the way. Um, but I just don't, I just don't see this Eagles team being, um. A, just an unbeatable championship contending team. I think that the Eagles have a lot of holes um, that need to be patched up. I know Jalen Hurts is really good. A.J. Brown, really good. Uh, their defense is solid, but they're beatable. I mean, it just depends on the matchup. If it's Cowboys-Eagles, I take Eagles. If it's Niners-Eagles, probably take a Niners. I just um, – I don't think either Brock Purdy or Dak Prescott are the quarterbacks that could take advantage of any kind of mismatches or holes in that defense, which there's not really a lot of holes, if any, on the defense. But the, I, they're, they've they're, – The whole reason about the, – the whole thing about Brock Purdy is if you watch his film – he dinks and dunks. He throws, you know, lateral passes basically across the field. He doesn't really go down the field with anything. And the good part about that Niners team is he has Debo Samuel. He has Christian McCaffrey. He has Brandon Ayuk. He has, you know, whoever else on that team that can make plays. They built that team around not needing a superstar quarterback. And I'm sorry, but Jimmy G is not a superstar quarterback. And the Niners have done a good job of managing that team around the fact that in today's NFL, nine times out of ten, you have to have a superstar quarterback. But they built enough talent around that to kind of avoid that issue. And you don't necessarily need it. And I think that's why Brock Purdy has been doing so good. Because if you watch his film, like I said, he's throwing – you know, curl routes, he's throwing um, screens, he's throwing, you know, just slants. I mean, it's nothing major. Yeah. I just, um, I don't know. Maybe it's the Seahawks fan of me that just hates the Niners. But <laughs> I, I think if they do make it this far, this is the, this is the game where Brock Purdy, as a rookie QB, it comes back to bite him. I'm not even saying, you know, Mr. Irrelevant or anything like that. I think this is just rookie QB. This is where his inexperience comes back to bite him. The stage is bigger than he's ever played on. And this they're playing in Lincoln Financial in Philadelphia, where it's going to be very, very cold, possible snow, just the harshest uh, conditions he's ever played in. Mm-hmm with Eagles fans screaming at him from everywhere. Oh, yeah. I think the lights are just going to be a little too bright for him. And, uh, yeah, so I, 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 even if the Niners make it through, like I picked, I still think the Eagles beat them with the home field advantage. Yep. yep. Um, okay, moving on over here to this side. Um, and no surprise, I mean, uh, I already picked the Chiefs are going through on this one. But... um. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a rematch of the Bengals and Chiefs and I'm going to pick the Bengals again. But in your predictor, you picked Jags and and Bengals, so where do you go? Oh, it's going to hurt me, man. I like I, it's going to hurt me to say this out loud, but I would have to go Bengals too in this situation just because yeah. the Bengals know what it's like to be there. I mean, Doug Peterson's the only one on the Jags that really knows what it's like to go to a Super Bowl. He knows what it's like to to be in the spotlight, all that kind of good stuff. And I think, I mean, Trevor knows, but the college football playoff and state championships are much different than an NFL playoff. Um, Mm -hmm. And I would just go, I'd have to go Bengals on this. Just, I think the Jags magic would finally, unfortunately, run out for this year. 
but not saying they're a bad team because they're my team, man. And I'm a, I'm a rep Duval till the day I die, but you know, uh, yeah, just, I'd have to go Bengals on this matchup. Yeah. And like, like, I'm not trying to say the Jags are bad or anything. They're a, and I wouldn't they're, even say they've really under, they've really overperformed. I think that team has played really well and I think it's sustainable. I think mm-hmm. it's just a matter of them building on what they've got. They've got uh, they they need to do some some work on the defense. I think the offense is good. Um, uh, the defense the defense is very good. I know that I know it looks bad. They gave up thirty points last week to the Chargers, but you got to think with four interceptions from Trevor and then another missed fumble or a, a fumble on the punt. I mean, to give up thirty points in that scenario and then hunker down whenever it meant the most. Like that defense is stout. They're good. Yeah, um, but that pass defense, like you said in the draft, the pass defense is the weakness. I yeah. think I think they do they do some work to on that secondary in the off season, mm-hmm. and they're winning the division, and at least making it to this AFC championship game again next year. Oh yeah, I think they've and got the Calvin Ridley. Yeah, I I think they've got the pieces to do it if they just. They add a safety in a cornerback or a linebacker or something like that. Um, don't have to be superstars or anything. That's just, uh, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about it. Uh, but we both agree on this on this game. Uh, moving on to the the big daddy, the Super Bowl. I will and, say, I will say, give me just a second. Hold on, and I, you know, not a. Let's see. I know it's not much, all right, but if the Jags do end up going to the Super Bowl and winning it, I will give away this PSA 9, Trevor Lawrence, graded card right here mm-hmm. to somebody who likes and subscribes to the channel and comments below, go Jags, all right? All so right. If, if they make it to the Super Bowl, not saying they will, but, you know, just something a little fun to try to give away. Right. Do something nice. I mean, that would be uh, – that's a sick card right there, guys. I mean, I uh, – this man's been believing in Trevor Lawrence since he got drafted and wouldn't let Urban Meyer ruin the man. So uh, – <laughs> oh, uh, Yeah. Um, Super Bowl. I think this is where Joe Burrow gets his revenge. Uh, I, I don't – I think um, – the Eagles have the better team on paper. That defense, that offense, I just think it's a better team on paper until you come to the quarterback. And Joe Burrow, listen, boomer sooner till the day I die. Jalen Hurts <laughs> is a sooner. Uh, he was so fun to watch it at Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. Um, just a guy that I love to root for. But Joe Burrow – it's the difference between night and day in mm-hmm. those quarterbacks. Joe yep. Burrow, one of the best quarterbacks in, in the NFL. Jalen Hurts, who's very good, an MVP candidate. But when it comes down to it, I got to ride with Joe Burrow. I think Joe yeah. Burrow wins this one. I think uh, I think Joey B's got what it takes, man. He's That, that offense is just so overpowered. You got right. Jamar Chase, you got T. Higgins, you got Tyler Boyd, you got Joe Mixon, you got their tight end this year. Who was their tight end this year? It was um, – Oh, it, man. Was, was it Hayden Hurst again? I think it was Hayden I Hurst. Think, I think th- it might have been Hayden Hurst, but I think they had another yeah. guy in there that was that was catching passes. They have so many weapons. I, I honestly – Yeah, it's... it's ridiculous, man. The offensive line has improved. It's still not great. It's still a little shaky. But um, I think – I just – I think Joe Burrow is going to get him one this year. I think he's going to get his ring. Um, and it hurts my heart to say it over the Jags, but, man, I'm telling you, I think Joey B's got it this year. Yep. I uh, I think this is Joe Burrow's year. And, uh, I mean, congratulations to him. Came back from injury a couple of years ago uh, last year and lit up the league went to the Super Bowl, and uh, now he's back to finish what he started. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. 
All righty, guys. We'll get that. Uh, we'll get this this episode up as soon as possible, and uh, we'll get that. We'll we'll get it all put out on Twitter too, with uh, that giveaway listed. And uh, we appreciate everyone for tuning in, watching, liking, subscribing, and uh, comment. Tell us what you want us to do, what you'd like us to uh, react to or pick. And uh, we'll we'll be back with more videos here in the future. Oh Thanks, yeah, we'll probably shoot. We'll probably be back next week with the uh, the next round of the playoffs to see how you know our picks went and what all we think is going to be like going forward. So um, absolutely, shoot, we'll, I'm ready to see you next week, and we'll talk some more about it. Maybe we'll maybe we'll pick uh, our uh, NFL rookies of the year MVPs and hey, uh, the award the awards race is heating up. Yeah, it's uh, there's there's some there's some some good rookies as good as ever as good as i've ever seen in the nfl (laughs) yeah man all right well good talking to you i appreciate you having me on again all righty guys thanks for tuning in thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next one next time